Hello, Gray and Cher Warriors. This is me, Charm, and Gracie coming to you. <laughs> Gracie cracks me up. Isn't that just so cute? She is so cute. I'll tell you what, she's a mess. Well, I hope you had an awesome Wednesday. I did. I decided to cook some things while she's leaving. She goes, I showed you how cute I am. I'm <laughs> well, uh, I'm a little bit late. I had to go and do some things at the last minute, but I made it. And uh, I did some cooking today, and I'm going to do some more tomorrow, so I don't have to do everything in one day. So, tonight, we are not going to dive into Psalm. We are going to talk about Jesus being the light of the world. And um, there's a song. I am so unprepared. I shared a song today, that last night too, I don't know what is up with Facebook, maybe it's just me, there we are, I'm going to pull it over, so I can read all of it. Reading all the words is so much better than not being able to read all the words. Um, there we go. There it is. Okay, so we're going to pray first, and then I'm going to read what I wrote today. I can't read all the words. Now I can. All right. Well, I am going to pray and then we will read that and we will just talk about Jesus being the light of the world tonight. And also, I'm going to share this tonight because it goes right along with this song. It was so awesome that it did. It happens a lot. God, we just come to you and we just pray. We just uh, thank you that you are on your throne and you are in control. We thank you, God, that you are the great I am and you are the great Jehovah. And there is nothing that you do not see or hear. You know everything, God. You know all details of every, every problem. You know the solutions and you know the outcomes. God, thank you for being our creator, our sustainer, our provider, our protector. Thank you for being our shelter in the storm. And thank you for being our strength and our refuge. And so much more, God. You are so much more to us. God, you are powerful and mighty and magnificent. And you are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness according to your truths. God, we just... Um, you are also, God, caring and loving and kind and compassionate. And you are faithful, you are trustworthy, you are forgiving, and you are patient, God. You want none to perish. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for calling us as your children. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. We pray, God, for the lost. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so that they can be saved. And we pray for the prodigals, God. We just pray for them to return and to repent and to be reconciled. God, for all the disasters that are going on, the disastrous things that have happened over the past few months, we just pray, God, that you would be with these people that have had, um, they have lost family members, God. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them. We pray for the ones that were injured, God. We just pray for healing for them. And we pray for the ones that uh, survived, God, that you would heal them emotionally and physically and spiritually, God. 
We pray for all the people that have lost loved ones, God. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength. And we pray that they would feel your presence, God. We pray for all the people that are sick. I know many right now, a few that have COVID. I know a few that have other things, God. And we just pray for peace. And we just pray for healing for them and for strength for their family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, well, I'm usually at youth by now, and we are 30 minutes into our uh, beginning of youth, and we start at 6.30, so it's kind of strange to be home on a Wednesday, but we do take off a couple of weeks around the holidays because we really don't, we have less kids that come because they're busy with their families. So anyway, I'm going to read to you what I wrote on Facebook this morning, and I really want to encourage you also to go and listen to this song, because it is such a beautiful song. So I woke up this with this song and message on my mind and heart this morning, and it, it's by Lauren Daigle. I forgot to write that in there. I love the beautiful lyrics to this song, and this video of clips is so awesome. It's a lot of clips of Jesus being born, Mary and Joseph, and then all at the end, all the miracles that Jesus performs. It's just really, it's a good, um, it's just a good reminder of who Jesus is. And one part of the lyrics say, glory to the light of the world. And I put Jesus. He is the best gift ever that came to save the entire world. His plan and purpose is the greatest of all. He came as an innocent baby and died as an innocent man. A cruel, undeserved death for all mankind. He came to be the example of perfect love, compassion, joy, unity, healing, and forgiveness. He rose from the dead and now is wait, is awaiting the perfect time to come get his bride. This season is about him. This season is a celebration for him. He is the true Messiah. He will overcome all evil and he will reign forevermore. <laughs> That's lyrics from another song. <laughs> uh, speaking lyrics sometimes. Is Jesus your Savior, or have you strayed away from your relationship with God? Come now, just as you are. Jesus is waiting for you. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish, John three sixteen through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Come just as you are. Admit that you are a sinner. Ask for forgiveness. Believe that Jesus is God's one and only Son that came to save the world through his death, burial, and resu resurrection. Confess Jesus as your Lord, as your Savior and Lord of your life. Invite him into your heart. That's what I wrote today. I really encourage you to go and listen to the song. It's really a good song. Um, it really is. So now I'm going to move on and read this. Read My Jesus Always by Sarah Young. I love this book. I love this book so much that I have bought some to give people. And I may just have them on hand that I can mail to people from time to time because this is such a good book. And this is what I do my daily devotional with because this is what I like about it. It's a daily devotional with the, um, the date. It has the date for every day. And it reads as though Jesus is talking to you, which makes it so personal. 
Oh, I am the light of the world. Many people celebrate Advent season by illuminating their homes with candles and decorated trees. This is a way of symbolizing my coming into the world, eternal light breaking through the darkness and opening up the way to heaven. Nothing can reverse this glorious plan of salvation. All who trust me as Savior are adopted into my royal family forever. My light shines on in the darkness, for the darkness has never overpowered it. No matter how much evil and unbelief you see in this dark world, I continue to shine brightly, a beacon of hope to those who have eyes that really see. So it's crucial to look toward the light as much as possible. Fix your eyes on me, beloved. Through thousands of good thought choices, you can find me. See me as your journey through this life. Have my spirit help you persevere in the delightful discipline of keeping your eyes on me. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So that is just so good, and I felt like it went so well with the song that I shared today. So let's read the scriptures that go with that, because another thing that I like about that this is it has the scriptures at the bottom. So here are the scriptures. So I really like this book. And I'm going to share it with others this year. I didn't know what to get people. And I thought, well, I'm going to share this because I really like it. So in John, John 1, 5, is this. And the light shines in the darkness. And I'm going to start at 1. I'm going to start at John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. So, Jesus, Jesus was at creation. Jesus has always been. He was in the beginning. He is the Word, and He was with God. And all things were made through Him. And he is the light that shines in the darkness. So let's move to John 8, 12. John 8, 12. Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness but have the light of life. So Jesus is the light of the world. Ephesians 1, 5. Okay, Ephesians 1, 5, having, having predestined us to adoptions as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, 
by which he made us accepted in the beloved. Okay, so Hebrews 12. Okay, Hebrews 12, 2. It says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, he before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So I highly, highly recommend these books. Mine's about worn out. Jesus Always by Sarah Young. I just bought six of them on Amazon for like, they weren't a lot. They were well worth it. Anyway, I may buy some more just to have them on hand to give to people for gifts because they're so good. All right, well, that is all I'm going to read in the Bible tonight. But I am going to do a message of salvation. All right, let me see if I can find something. Right. Let's do the keys to life. I'm going to have to go shut my door. My husband is on the phone. Can you hear him in the background? Be to life. God loves you and has a great plan for you, for your life. Jesus said, My purpose is to give life in all its fullness. John 10.10 10. Sin separates you from God. We are all Sinners, Romans 3.23. The price for sin is death, Romans 6.23. The price is already paid. God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners, Romans 5.8. Jesus bridged the gap of separation between God and man. And then it's free. Eternal salvation is a free gift. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. You don't. You don't earn or work your way to heaven. Uh, morality or religion. Jesus is the key to life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It's up to you to ask Jesus into your heart. Pray, Jesus, I ask you into my heart to be my Savior and Lord. All right, I'm going to say this prayer. I didn't realize we were down to the prayer so quickly. But I'm going to say this prayer. And if you want to accept Jesus as your Savior, He is the light of the world. Jesus loves you just as you are. Come as you are and just say this prayer. Jesus, I ask you into my heart to be my Savior and Lord. Forgive my sins and give me the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray, 
Amen. It's a really short prayer. It is important to be baptized, go to church, pray, read your Bible, and share with others what Jesus has done for you. So if you said this prayer, welcome to the kingdom family of God. Your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and um, the angels are rejoicing. And if you do want a closer relationship with God, then read his word, read his truths, pray to God, and praise him. All right. Well, I haven't been on here for very long, but I'm going to do God's blessing. And I'm going to get off of here and go uh, make Seth something to eat. Ricky just got home and dinner was already ready. He just had to warm it up. Okay, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So that is what God wants for us. He wants peace. We find our peace through following Jesus because Jesus is the Prince of Peace and he is the light of the world. And he came to be our light. Well, let's pray, and uh, I'm going to get off of here. God, we just thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the way that things just fall into place. There's just sometimes one message that you have, and everything just revolves around it. And God, we just pray that you would give us the boldness to go out and to share your truths and to share the gospel of Jesus. We pray for all the families represented here, God. We just pray that they would be blessed abundantly, that they would be protected, provided for, and and uh, that you would lead God and direct them, God. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, well, my pray and share warriors, I wasn't on here like not even 30 minutes. I knew it was going to be short, but I'm trying to be more consistent. I normally don't even come on here on Wednesday nights, but I'm home, so I thought this is perfect. This is the season that we're in. We're in the season when Jesus came as a baby to be the light to a dark, to a dark and fallen world, and he is still our light today. We need him just as bad as they needed him when he was born. We need him every day. So have an awesome rest of your night and have an awesome tomorrow, which is Thursday. I'm going to do some more cooking tomorrow. I think I'm going to cook some sweet things tomorrow. So much love and cyber hugs. Till I, till I see you again, good night.